The situation in Western Europe is absolutely chaotic as the woke culture continues to destroy ordinary people's lives. This is Enoch Burke, a teacher in Dublin, the Republic of Ireland. He is now going to be in prison indefinitely over the row um, with the issue of the gender lobby and pronouns and everything else like that. Things have been escalating over the last year or so with this case and now we've got the confirmation that he's going to be in jail permanently um, because uh, not only as a teacher he refused uh, to use the right pronouns of a student but he decided to return to the school which was against the rules that they set. This is Wilson's hospital school uh, that was supposed to be teaching the right values. Uh, to students and to everybody uh, in, and the, obviously the, it, who are using the facilities. The problem with this whole situation is w one thing was about the gender lobby and all these arguments about uh, the progressives and wokeism that they came up with as a word it was supposed to be an intellectual debate, they said. And then they said it's about civility. And then they decided to cancel people's lives. And now they're completely destroying them. This is going too far now. So he's going to be in uh, Dublin's uh, Mountjoy uh, prison um, in Enoch Burke and uh, there's been a lot of protests uh, around this issue none of it actually got anywhere and even when you look at the the media coverage and the press it's also very important by the way because when you see these sort of stories unless you watch 2CTV and um, you're going to find these stories on online newspapers and everything else it's important to see the truth it's important to see who is reporting certain news stories and who's backing them by the way that's why i want to give a quick shout out uh, to our new episode ground news website and um, ground.news uh, forward slash maya because uh, the best way to actually check is this actually for example when you look at enoch burke's story enoch burke to stay in prison over school court order and everything else over the last couple of months this has been escalating but Ground News actually will help you find out not only, as you can see at the bottom of the page, the, the leaning of each media out there, left-leaning, center, or right-leaning, or whatever. As you can see, 50% uh, is being distributed between left-wing outlets and centrists, whatever that means. <laughs> uh, but uh, it's quite important to also know in terms of the actual ownership of these newspapers and media outlets. 24% of the, these sources are independent news. Only 24% are independent news the rest of them as you can see are um, major corporations and everything else so it's important for people to know where they're getting the news stories from especially on these sort of sensitive news stories so ground.news forward slash maya if you go on that link you can get 30 percent off unlimited access but I'll, I'll explain that more later on but let's focus on the story for now because enoch burke told the co uh, court the question is not will i purge my contempt but how this court order could have been granted the court is asking me to purge my contempt, but this court has robbed me of my constitutional right. It was wrong what the court did. How can I purge my contempt of that which is wrong? Well, that's a fair question. This is why everything has now been escalating. It has been it was dismissed. 15,000 euros fine. 15,000, by the way, for refusing to use the right pronouns. And then that's why we've had all these protests. There's been a number of protests going around. Uh, this sign saying Enoch Burke, Mandroid Prison for Christian Beliefs. Yeah, obviously, he's a Christian. Um, it's saying nothing to say. I mean, th there's been a lot of issues around this because uh, Christianity, obviously, is at risk right now in the West. Uh, but even basic conservative values is at risk. And this is the whole problem. Because, of course, these signs are focusing on his um, Christian belief. For example, say Enoch Burke jailed for his Christian belief and everything else like that. But it's also not really just about Christianity. It's about basic common sense and logic and your own self-determination and individual liberty as a person in the West. You don't have that anymore. Let, forget about free speech. You can't even tell the truth. If you tell the truth, you will go to jail. 15,000 euros and you'll be dismissed. I mean, these protests have gone out of control now. This is uh, Enoch's sister that had to be dragged out. It's in completely chaotic. And this should be, right now, the main focus uh, in terms of the mainstream media, the corporate media. But they're not really focusing on it, are they? They just sometimes mention it in one of the newspapers and go away. But we're going to obviously focus on these sort of stories, as usual, every day on this channel to tell you the truth about how this is being covered by the media as well. That's why I said the best thing you can do, actually, go to ground.news forward slash Myers, our partners. I want to give a massive shout out. If you use that link, you get 30% 
and um, of uh, unlimited access and you could just check it out for free just um, give it a try uh, it's the best way to actually know where you're getting your news from in terms of the newspapers and everything else online outlets thank you so much for watching i'm maya tusi and we are the media